Lilo and Stitch's 2002 release was met with plenty of positive reception. It's a charming film that simply conveys the importance of family and introduces us all to our favorite canine-like extraterrestrial sidekick. For this week's episode of Disney Facts, we have a batch of secrets and Easter eggs from Lilo and Stitch. For starters, Lilo and Stitch was almost an entirely different film. The original story focused solely on an alien living in a forest trying to overcome his isolation and find out where he came from. Lilo didn't become a part of the film until much later during story development. The final version of Lilo and Stitch feels very appropriate to take place in Hawaii, however, that wasn't always the intended location. The filmmakers considered setting the story in Kentucky or Kansas before finally setting on Hawaii. On a similar note, Stitch was not originally supposed to talk, but when the filmmakers realized that the story hinged on him being able to express himself at the film's end, they began developing his voice. Co-director Chris Sanders provided Stitch's voice during test animation, and eventually everyone got so used to it that they decided to keep it. My name Stitch. Chris Sanders wasn't the only filmmaker to make a cameo. The cartoonistic version of fellow director Dean Dubois can be seen running away as Stitch destroys everything on the beach. There's a moment in the film where Lilo and Stitch are enjoying shave ice on a warm afternoon. They stand by a kiosk that is selling postcards, which features artwork from Chicago, San Francisco, and Orlando. On the Orlando photo, you can prominently see Cinderella Castle from Walt Disney World featured front and center. While on a tour of Kauai, filmmakers noticed that their Hawaiian tour guides seemed to know someone everywhere they went. They were so struck by the guide's explanation of the term ohana as it relates to an extended family that they made it the central theme of the film. Ohana means family. Speaking of family, after an early test screening showed that audiences thought Nani was Lilo's mother, filmmakers reworked some key scenes to make their sisterly relationship more clear. Lilo, my sister. While we're on Lilo and Nani, let's look at the scene where they watch a falling star. Very subtly, a stuffed animal that appears to be Dumbo is seen on the left-hand side of the screen. Speaking of Dumbo, Lilo and Stitch was the first Disney animated film since the 1941 classic to use watercolor painted backgrounds. It's common for A113 to show up in Pixar films, however, it makes an appearance several times throughout Lilo and Stitch. Based on the alphanumeric combination popping up several times, it's clear that numerous animators on the film have a history with the infamous CalArts classroom. In our previous episode of Disney Facts, we mentioned the Mulan poster hanging in Nani's bedroom. The reason that Lilo and Stitch and Mulan are so closely linked is because they were both entirely produced at the Orlando Walt Disney Animation Studios facility that was then housed at Disney MGM Studios. And there you have it, 10 Easter eggs and secrets from Lilo and Stitch. Can Stitch say goodbye? Let us know in the comments of which film you'd like us to take a look at next.